This morning, an ROV or remote operated vehicle from the vessel Horizon Arctic discovered the tail cone of the Titan submersible. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. The heartbreaking news coming just a short time ago. All the passengers on board the missing Titan submersible are presumed dead. The Coast Guard says that the vessel suffered a catastrophic failure. Now, the Titan's tail cone was found near the bow mm. of Titanic on the ocean floor. I'm Paula Evan. I'm David Wade. The discovery came nearly 96 hours after contact was lost with that vessel. The submersible went missing at about 370 miles south of Newfoundland during an expedition to see the wreckage of the Titanic. Five people were on board the Titan when it started its doomed descent. OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush, British billionaire Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shazada Dawood, and his son Suleiman, and Paul Henry Nargile, a French explorer. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Boston tonight where the Coast Guard coordinated this entire search. Beth? It was very grim news from the Coast Guard here this afternoon. A heartbreaking end to a giant international air and sea rescue mission for the submersible and its passengers. The breakthrough coming today when deep underwater robots arrived on scene. The debris is consistent with a catastrophic uh, implosion of uh, the vessel. And with those words from Rear Admiral John Mauger, hope for any survivors aboard the submersible Titan is lost. I offer my deepest condolences to the families. This morning, an underwater robot from the Canadian vessel Horizon Arctic located two debris fields 1,600 feet off the bow of the Titanic wreckage. Five major pieces consistent with the Titan were located, including the front end of the pressure hull in one field and the other end in the second, and no indication there was any collision with the Titanic itself. It's in an area where there is not any debris of Titanic. It is a smooth bottom. Uh, there, to my knowledge and anything I've seen, there's no Titanic wreckage in that area. Contact was lost with the submersible Sunday, an hour and 45 minutes after it descended toward the Titanic with five passengers on board. The Coast Guard says it doesn't know the timing of the implosion, but there's been no noise of an underwater catastrophe since search teams have been on scene, suggesting it may have been when communication was lost. This uh, was a uh, catastrophic uh, implosion of the vessel, which would have generated uh, a significant broadband sound uh, down there that uh, the sonar buoys would have picked up. And the underwater noises detected Tuesday and Wednesday now appear to have no connection. Rescue teams will remain on scene with the underwater robots mapping the debris field, but no indication if or when remains will be brought to the surface. So we're going to continue to uh, investigate the uh, site of uh, the debris field. Uh, and then I know that there's also a lot of questions about uh, how, why, and when uh, did this happen. Now, hope of finding the crew was already dwindling with that 96-hour oxygen supply, the estimated oxygen supply, set to expire this morning. Once the search for debris on the ocean floor has concluded, the investigation into how all this happened will begin. Reporting live from outside the Coast Guard station in Boston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Beth, thank you.